Welcome back to another another video today. I want to show you guys something quick, but something I have really enjoyed, something that's just really helpful. Okay, so you know, you're on Linux, if you're a Linux user, you might be also a Linux gamer, you know, we love gaming, I actually don't even play that many games nowadays, but, you know, school's got me clutched up right now, but <laughs> one of the programs we, you know, gamers use is Discord, and um, a feature that they added, like, I don't know, a year or two ago, is crisp, like crisp noise cancelling, and I have to say, it's an amazing feature, you can just toggle it, and boom, you got noise cancelling, just easy, and uh, yeah, if you got a noisy room, it's just, you know, or you got, you know, we, us gamers, we have mechanical keyboards, that are, you know, like, <laughs> you know, they, they sound like that. So, um, you know, you don't want to be playing in, in a game like, and then just like, you know, hearing this, like all your mates hearing that. So, you know, it, it, it's pretty useful. And um, the problem is the Linux version of Discord is horribly out of touch, like, or unmaintained let's say um there was only an there was an update recently but i don't think it added anything or at least i didn't notice anything maybe it fixed some bug or something but before that i don't think there was an entire update for a year or multiple months so yeah and there's a lot of things you can't even screen share with audio and there is no crisp audio and if we go to crisp this is the website you know it's only available for mac and windows so it's just not included into Discord. And I don't think it's Discord's fault. I think it's like Crisp just doesn't have, you know, it's not supported on Linux, as simple as that. So what's the solution? Well, you have to use your own noise canceling program, software, whatever. And initially, um, so, you know, uh, initially there was one program called Cadmus, which uh, is actually pretty good. Although I think it's, uh, at, no, uh, it's not maintained anymore. Uh, it's pretty good though. It's GUI, however. And uh, if you know me, I'm minimalist and I don't like GUIs. I love the terminal. So yeah, it, it's pretty good, but you can't auto activate it. So my first problem was you can't auto activate it. If you could auto activate it, then I wouldn't even care it's GUI. But you have to auto activate it and to activate it, you have to activate it for the GUI. So this is not it. And uh, for a long time, I was looking for a noise canceling solution. And I found it, uh, I don't know, like a couple, like a month ago. And that is RNN, uh, RN Noise Command Line, or CLI. This program is really good because it's basically Cadmus. Because Cadmus is actually based on um, this Pulse Audio, yeah, GUI front end for this Pulse Audio no Noise Suppression uh, plugin. If we go to this and we read it, then it's, uh, oh, it's based on RN Noise. And oh, and then this is just a library for noise cancelling. And RN Noise is also just based on this plugin, which is also based on that. So yeah, it's, it's basically the same thing as Cadmus and you get extremely similar results. Um, and it is very simple. You just install it through the Python Pi. I don't know what it stands for. Python Pi, just pip install. And um, yeah, and uh, how you can add, there's a configuration file where you can put in your default settings. I mean, if I bring up a terminal and I just type in R and noise, it comes up with this menu and we can just list our devices. Uh, we can list our status. So it is currently activated. Although I'm not talking, I'm talking from my normal mic, but um, yeah, whenever I go on Discord, I always use the new R and noise, like the denoised mic. And to activate it, uh, uh, how do you deactivate it? De Deactivate. Wait, I can't spell. <laughs> okay, uh, so if we deactivate it, so I no longer have the RN noise. So if I just type in RN noise, uh, activate, and let me show you. Uh, I got a configuration file here, and all it is is just I'm inputting, because this is the device, this is my microphone. So all it does is just when it activates, if there, was, there wasn't this file, uh, if I just delete it and save, uh, it'll tell me, uh, like, hey, which uh, device do you want to use? So wait, let me just, okay. So it's like got the device, like actual name, and then kind of what it's translated to in English. <laughs> and then you can just choose whichever one. Um, but the one I always use is just uh, number one, which I can just put into this configuration file so that when I run RN noise, active automatically. This is great. This is just, I run one command and my 
noise activation. I no longer, I have a noise microphone. However, that is still too much. I don't want to run even a single command. So what I've done is I run it in my X in it RC. And this is just a, I guess you can say like an auto activate from like launch type script or how you want to call it. Um, usually you use it if you're on like Arch or some minimalist based distro. Uh, if you're on Ubuntu or something, you'll probably be using something else. But yeah, th this is just where I activate my, like everything I need. And, uh, you know, at the end I activate dmen or DWM and that's my window manager. I just have a command here, R noise activate and, and then it just activates my denoise mic and it's as simple as that. And, um, honestly it just works. It don't have to think about, you know, I always have a denoise mic before I would have to open up this, uh, Stallone tray, which it's just basically a tray, a system tray. If you don't actually have one, which I don't. And then I would, uh, because I had the app image. I'm sure there's a way to download it for like Arch or something, but I don't know why I just ran the app image. So I would have a execute uh, app image command like this one and it would activate and then I have to click on it and then I have to click uh, activate mic. It was just somewhat of a pain. It was somewhat of a pain. And this is just much better. Very simple. Uh, all credit goes to NESP. Really appreciate this guy's work. I started because I'm like, damn, this is really good. And I think I also, I'm the one who forked it. Yeah, I forked it because I'm like, wow, this is really good. I hope he like doesn't just like nuke it or something. Um, so yeah. Uh, anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you can use this. I find this really useful and yeah, it's very simple. Anyways, uh, that's it.